Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at printing options. Now, there's really only one thing I want to get across in this video, and that's that printing options change depending upon the printer you have selected. Let me demonstrate. So here I am in text edit. I'm going to hit Command P to bring up the print dialog. Now, I've got two printers here. So the first option I've got is to select between these two printers. I've got one here that's at a local IP address, and it's actually a HP LaserJet black and white printer. I also have a Canon multifunction printer that's a color printer to print photos. So I can switch between the two of these. So as I switch between these, it'll change the options that I have. For instance, here I have the laser printer selected, and if I look under paper size, I can see a whole set of different sizes that the printer supports. The printer tells Mac OS X which types of pages it can support. If I switch to the Canon color printer, I can see that I have a whole different set of page types that it can support. Now once again, looking at the laser printer, if I go here to where all the options are and select the color and quality options, you can see here are the options for the black and white laser printer. I can select three different types of dots per inch, some enhancements, levels of gray, economy mode, but if I switch to the color printer and look under quality and media, I have a completely different set of options. I can choose a media type, I can choose things like glossy paper. I can also choose a paper source because that printer has different places where the, the paper can come from and I have print quality and I can even switch to grayscale printing. The important thing to remember is these options change depending upon the printer. So if you get a new printer, you're going to have a new set of options depending upon the capabilities of that printer. If you go over a friend's house or a coworker's cubicle, if they have a different printer, then they're going to have a different set of options. So when relaying to somebody how to print a document, you have to take this under consideration. There are even whole sets of options that are only available to some printers. For instance, the Canon Color printer here has a borderless printing option and I can set the amount of extension over the edges to get a borderless print. But if I switch to the older black and white laser printer, I don't even have the option for borderless printing. Likewise, for a newer color printer, you may find supply levels and get a list of the amount of ink available in each cartridge. But if you go to a laser printer, you would expect to find perhaps the amount of toner available. And you would for a lot, but this is such an old printer, you don't actually even get that information. You also get different things if you look under System Preferences, go to Print and Fax, and you can see the two printers here. Now, the color printer here, if I click on Options and Supplies, you can see that I get the supply levels again. I also get a Utility tab, and here I can print a test page or go to the Printer Utility application. But if I switch to the older laser printer, I can see I don't even have the utilities there. Also notice that the options vary depending upon the application you're using as well. For instance, in text edit, the first set of options is for text edit and it's only to print header and footer. But if you switch to another application, you may not even have options above layout. Or say here's BB edit and in here if I look at the print options, I can see that I've got one called text printing and I have a whole bunch of different things that I could choose from here. You'll find even more options if you're using graphics programs or something even more complex. Now keep in mind all the different options that I've shown you are specific to the two printers I have. You probably have a different printer or printers and you're going to have a whole different set of options. And next year there will be some new printers out that have options that we've never even seen before. So next time you have to print something, don't just skip over the print dialog. Take a look at the different options you have with your printer and with the application you're using. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.